Welcome to another tutorial by Quiet Waters Computer Services. In this tutorial, I want to show you guys the basic programs that you need and what you need to do in order to have a website on the internet. Now, a lot of you already know all of these things, but for those of you that don't know, we'll start with the most basic fundamentals. The first thing you need is a web hosting company. Now, this is where all of your files and folders will reside so that you can have a website. So what people do is they buy a hosting package. In that hosting package, there's two sides. There's gonna be the client side, which is where you would register a new domain, transfer a domain, um, submit support tickets. And then there's the cPanel side. And the cPanel side is basically access to everything that the hosting company offers you with things like the file manager, creating FTP accounts, email accounts, creating subdomains or add-on domains. Um, you can even pre-install software through some of the cPanel interfaces like Joomla, which is my preferred program for people that are inexperienced at making websites. Joomla is so easy, and if you guys look through my stuff, you'll find some Joomla overview and tutorials on how to find, download, and install Joomla, as well as the features in Joomla and how to use them. So the cPanel is your admin side and the client side which would be going to the main websites front page like this one host upon this is a company that I use for a lot of clients and they have a client area up here at the top and that's where you would make your payments for your services which is your hosting and your domain name it's broken up into two areas hosting and domain name think of it as a house and its address and a car that parks there the car would be your domain name so it's kind of corny, but it really is simple and it's true. So, you know, there's plenty of them around the internet. You can go to web hosting, yeah, web hosting best10.com and you can look through them all. I would stay away from ones that have and promote website builders. GoDaddy's a big advocate of that. And if you buy their cheapest package, you'll be locked into a control panel that looks nothing like this. And this is what you want. You want a real control panel interface and not some interface that's basically going to uh, get you lost or not do all the things that you want to do. But, you know, there's, there's, there is sites like um, HostGator that seem to be pretty reliable, but you just don't buy into their uh, um, website building programs when you sign up company like HostUpon doesn't deal with any of that. They deal with straight hosting, period. I make nothing for telling you that. My reason for liking HostUpon is very simple. Most websites out on the internet do not allow for the hosting of your own movies. You have to host them on um, YouTube or uh, one of the other video sites. But on a HostUpon count, you don't have to do that. A HostUpon count will give you everything you need, including FFmpeg, which is the ability to stream movies from your website. So I really like HostUpon. Um, their support is really good, and they do an excellent job of maintaining their servers. So web hosting aside now, just remember that you can go out on the Internet and look up many hosting companies, but just remember, it's two things, a monthly payment, which is for your hosting package, and then a yearly payment, which is for your domain name. So once you've got to those two things under your belt and they've sent you all of the information you need with all of your settings for your cPanel and everything, the next step is to find an FTP program. Now, you can Google free FTP programs and you'll find all kinds of them here. The two that I trust the most, first and foremost, is FileZilla. No muss, no fuss, no ads, no, no nothing getting in your way, just a raw FTP program. And this is FileZilla. And you basically build up your list of websites that you're going to be connecting to. You can make new sites where you can put in your host, your port, the username, and the password, any comments that are necessary, and then save it and hit connect. When you connect, you'll see this interface. This over here represents your home computer or the computer you're building the website on and all of the folders that you're going to be working with. And on the right-hand side, all of the files and folders that are on the hosting side of the FTP program. Now, this is a, a, a Joomla installation that I haven't started yet, and I'm going to be going through a Joomla tutorial later for other uh, people and other tutorials. But just know that I like FileZilla the best.
Smart FTP is another one. You can just go to smartftp.com, download a copy of that and install it. But both of them are really reliable. I just like FileZilla because I've been using it forever. So we've talked about web hosting. We've talked about the cPanel. We've talked about FTP programs. Now all you need to do is have the PHP script or the, the website structure that you need to upload. So I'm going to end this tutorial right here because this is just about an overview of hosting your site and knowing that you have to have a cPanel to do all the files and configurations, you know, email accounts, um, FTP connections, etc., etc., and a program like FileZilla to upload your programs.